The Adidas Ultra Boost 20 has been launched in partnership with the International Space Station, US National Laboratory. Adidas are making a lot of noise about how every part that has gone into the new Ultra Boost has a unique purpose. Last year, Adidas made its first major changes to the popular Ultra Boost line since it launched it back in 2015. They added more bouncy boost foam to the Ultra Boost 19's midsole, as well as updating the upper and heel counter. This year's update looks to be less radical, instead making a few targeted tweaks rather than a massive overhaul. The prime knit upper now features tailored fibre placement technology to ensure your foot gets the support it needs in exactly the right places, while the boost midsole has been optimised to provide an explosive toe off. You get a new midfoot cage which has been updated with TFP to help stabilise your foot. At the back of the shoe they have updated the heel area to a neoprene material that is super comfortable around the ankle and Achilles. The shoe weighs in at 310 grams for a UK 8.5 with a midsole drop of 10 mil. The shoe fits true to size and it's 160 pound here in the UK. Hey what's up guys and welcome back to 40 Runs. Now if this is your first time of 40 Runs I want you to smash that pink button down there that says subscribe on it. Go to our Facebook page and join the 40 Runs running community and check out the description down below there's loads of cool things down there. Right, this week we're getting all space age, so let's get stuck in. Right guys, so here it is, the brand new Ultra Boost 20. I couldn't wait to get my hands on this shoe, mainly because I was super jealous of everybody who had the 19, because I thought that shoe was one of the best looking shoes uh, of 2019. Um, I just really loved that shoe. I just thought it looked great. So when this was coming out, I couldn't wait to get my hands on it. Very interesting what they've done with the upper. I've added this TFP uh, uh, to it, which is kind of, it's kind of weird in a way because it's made it more harder and sort of less softer but i get why they've done it because they've added structure to the upper so you get more support which is great but it, i just it, i thought it would be softer than what it actually is but i understand why totally breathable which is great new midfoot cage does exactly what you want locks you in provides enough support um with the lacing and everything like that so that's great it's an all-in-one upper I've changed the back of it uh, to a neoprene material around here. I mentioned it before, which is very comfortable around the ankle and Achilles. And obviously this is flicking away like the current trend to move away from your Achilles. Uh, and you've obviously got the heel stability, which remains from the previous shoe. I'll come to the midsole in a minute, but the outsole, loving the Adidas. I say I'm new to Adidas, but loving the Adidas uh, Continental rubber on the bottom. Plenty of traction. I ran these through, um, well, I did two runs so far in them and I've done uh, road work and I've done one through, like, which was a park and it had, well, it actually was in the video, plenty of leaves and it was a bit mucky. Plenty of traction on the rubber. So that's great news. Obviously, you've got the exposed boost there as well. The midsole is interesting. I say I'm new to Adidas. Um, I've got the pulse boost currently uh, in my rotation. Uh, I did a video this week on them uh, and I found the part of the, the boost um, midsole different now i come from uh wearing nike shoes uh, obviously i've got the asics there but i'm a huge nike fan uh so i'm used to the zoom zoom x uh, and react foam so coming to the boost it was been a slight um transition for me because this definitely feels harder than i'm used to but that's not a bad thing um i found it responsive but i found it harder so i don't i don't feel like i don't necessarily feel the cushion but i know that it's there so it on impact and don't forget i'm a hill striker right so I'm a, i've got a very bad running style if you see the video you'll see it yourself but there's plenty here uh, and plenty of cushioning for me um to take away you know my bad sort of running posture and give me enough energy return so that the whole boost midsole is doing a very good job for me um even though it feels slightly harder than what i'm used to but that's not i say that's not a bad thing the problem i have with this shoe is that it's 160 170 pound here in the uk which is a load of money for a shoe that actually is not offering anything incredibly different to what's already out there i think you can get well you can still get the 19 for example which probably offers just as good um sort of performance as this um okay you don't necessarily get the structure in the upper and and, and all this sort of stuff but you're probably getting more value for money there there are other shoes out there for less money that probably do just as good a job so i'm a little bit i'm a little bit torn on this one i just think it's a lot of money for a shoe i'll give you an example if you pay a lot of money for a shoe like i did with these you're getting here game changing technology right okay these are 100 pound more than me but you're getting game changing technology 
if you're spending 160 170 pound on a shoe that's brand new out you would think that it would come with something that's going to really sort of make an impact on your run or give you something back i just think this shoe is maybe overpriced for what it is i did a review on the uh, a6 um, nimbus 22 um was it a week two weeks ago um that shoe is great value 140 odd pound it's a great long run shoe great everyday trainer and the technology on that you know probably matches up to this as much as anything else that is a great shoe but it's like 20 30 pound cheaper than this um i go back to the a6 glide ride which i absolutely love if you're new to the channel i'm in love with that shoe again probably offers just as much if not more than this shoe so this is a quite an expensive bit of kit and i don't think necessarily you're getting value for money so for me personally as a recommendation to you i bought this shoe but if you can still get the 19 then try and get the 19.